All right, Stevie O is up next. This mix is a complete reproduction and transformation of Kaden Kashmir's The Swedish Goodbye. Wonderful. The only track from the multi tracks is the lead vocal. Oh, very excited to hear. All other vocals and instrumenta instrumentation were performed by myself. Production work was done from my home studio, Mystical Lady Productions. I used the Cakewalk by Band Labs DAW, the Roland Integra drums. Seven for drums, piano strings, and synths via MIDI with my old but still very functional Roland MC300, the Ibanez bass, and all guitars, acoustic and 12, 12 and 6, and electric guitars, Kramer uh, Pacer Deluxe and Fender Strat were all used here in the production of his, uh, as real instruments. Hope you enjoy this 80s like rocked up version of the selection. Huge thanks to the Plapa staff and Warren for giving me permission to video document the entire production process to be used on my various platforms, including my upcoming website and YouTube channel. Great. Yeah, this is a big deal. Um, we really, really want to encourage everybody to grow their own um, own YouTube channels and own um, social media platforms. Quite a lot of people have come in here and done that. You know, the present day production guys, they were in here for a couple of years as members and they've started their own channel. I see a lot of you go over, basically you're the, you're the meat and potatoes of their viewership. Um, all we ask is that you name check us so we can keep the community growing. That's the only thing is when you go off and start something, just be like, hey, and feel free to use the multi-tracks. Um, Emily obviously has created a fantastic channel, Emily Bowie. Go and check out hers. There's so many great members. Alexi has a channel. Anita has a channel. Go and support each other. Go and support each other. Use the multi-tracks. Let's build this community and keep it keep building this community and keep it as amazingly um, positive as possible. Thank you, Stevie, for, for, for telling us that you're doing that. I really appreciate it. Ed Krause. Um, hey, Steve-O, what a fantastic reimagination of the song. Love the orchestra orchestration and the energy. Um, oh, Steve, um, Steve Beck, um, Steve Rich Beck. He is doing a course for us. He also started his own channel and he's still a member of the community. So go check him out as well. There's so many great people that are here doing this you know um um so ed ed helped there and so did benjamin thank you all right i'm excited to hear stevie o with sweetest goodbye complete reimagination so far that you let yourself burn 
absolutely love it. Yeah, I mean, I think you did go for a sort of 80s rock feel, and I love it. It It's one of those things where this is exactly why we built this, why we built this community um, was to encourage production. Um, even uh, five years ago when we launched this, I think it's coming on five years, when we launched the, the Produce Like a Pro um, Academy, um, even then it was all mixed like a mix, like a mix, 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 mix. Everything was about mixing. Um, and I was talking to Reed Shippen about this five or six years ago. Even though mixing is not easy, it's easy to teach. It's much easier to teach because people can rely on the technical, can't they? They can go, um, and everybody has an opinion. We go, well, you know, 60 hertz on the kick drum, you know, uh, on the bass, go to 80 to 100. You know, we all know the things. Cut the 250 to 400 area of the kick drum. And, it, and after a while, you can sort of do a paint by numbers. And then I realized that I was watching people come in that had very little knowledge of it, but they were able to take the information that was freely available out there and build businesses from it. And I was like, well, how can we make this more about community and encourage people to be creative? Well, Stevie is a prime example, as many, 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 many of you are, of that. The fact that took the time to take a lead vocal from a track and rebuild the whole song from the ground up with, put their own production ideas in there, and then just put themselves out there is huge. It's easy for any of us, myself included, to be critical of another person's work. Much, very, very easy. Everybody's everybody's really good behind a keyboard. But this young gentleman here, I don't know how old you are, but I'm going to call you young. Gentleman Stevie has taken the time and energy, probably a few days' work to do this, and I as often applaud him. First of all, Stevie, and I forgot to say this, Michael, the great Michael Garding, can you please give us the multi-tracks, the additional stuff that you did? Because it's really helpful when other members of the community can get in there and and mix and and pick and choose elements maybe from the original and the new one and incorporate. It keeps that ball rolling. It keeps that snowball growing of creativity and sharing. Stevie, I love what you did and I love the time you took. Now, from a mix perspective, let's just go to this section. <laughs> Love that bass. Happy almost birthday, Stevie. See, I feel I feel great about the fact that um, we, you know, that wherever Stevie lives, I, uh, lives, I can't remember if he said in his email, that he is going to be of service to his local community. That if some young guys and girls come to his studio wanting his production advice and wanting them to produce tracks for them and record, that he is going to know what he's doing and he's going to put a lot, a lot of love and attention into it. You know what I'm all saying here. I mean, the fact that he's taken so much time to do this much detail and do something so beautiful. Green Valley, Arizona. Yeah, really superb. I mean, we have so many talented people in here, um, ridiculously talented, ta talented people. But it's just beautiful to know that this exists. Do I like any uh, guitar that resembles UK Gothic? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, I, uh, to me, I suppose this is a little Nick Khan, a little Japan, I suppose. It just sounds like fretless. I mean, obviously, Tony Franklin's one of my best friends, and I definitely wouldn't call him UK Gothic, but he is from the UK, and he definitely plays fretless. But I do, yeah, it's a little Nick Khan. Joey said the case with uh, with is to have good production ideas, but lack the knowledge and experience of the execution of the idea. That's why I'm here. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I agree entirely. And Stevie says, thank you, Warren. That's exactly what I'm shooting for to develop songwriters. Exactly. Great, great stuff. I'm just, I'm blown away by this. The amount of time and energy that went into this. Moving on is 
Steve, um, Eric, can you put Stevie in contact with Derek, Caden's father? He's going to put you in contact. Derek is an Academy member, by the way, and he he pops in every now and then. And he has put lots of multitracks of his own productions up here. We'll get you in contact with uh, um, Derek so you can send uh, send the multitrack. Uh, send the, sorry, send the mix to him. I'm sure he'd love to hear it. And maybe maybe they'll use it as an alternative mix. We keep saying those things. We need to start putting those things out, Eric. That's my fault. I, I have to chase people up. Um, just uh, Stevie, just email Eric so you don't have to display your email address. Just email him at Eric. Eric. No, Eric at producelikeapro. dot com. Just email him there. And as Luminous Brilliant says, Stevie, developing new songwriters is, is our only hope for new good music. Um, uh, 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 takes time to develop. I know you can do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's Joey. Joey, don't worry. Keep, keep your spirits high. That's our sole purpose is to help develop people as everything. You know, we don't, we're getting songwriting now, production, mixing, mastering, everything. That's why we're here, to just keep providing an incredible community that you've got. Well, absolutely amazing. Um, Stevie, please uh, send us the multi-tracks. I'm really, really super, super impressed. Next up is Trip Willie 2. Hey, Trip Willie, Trip Willie says... <laughs> 